One, management at Round Belly decided to, one, cut its selling price at uh, $2 from 10 to 8 per Lifesaver, and two, increase its advertising budget by $5,000, and three, increase Lifesaver sales from 5000 to 10000 Is this a profitable decision? All right, so we've got the given information from one, which is our sales um, uh, uh, at 5000 Lifesavers, this is what our sales, variable expenses, contribution margin, uh, fixed expenses, and net operating income look like. All right, so at 10,000, we're going to increase sales to 10,000, but we're reducing our sales price to 8. So 8 times the 10,000 equals 80,000. That's our uh, sales. Now, our variable expenses are going to be the, uh, our variable expenses are going to, be the same, which is the the ten thousand times the six dollars. That's sixty thousand. Uh, the eighty minus the sixty is our twenty thousand dollar contribution margin. Now we're increasing our fixed expenses to twenty five thousand. So now we have a contribution margin of twenty, fixed expenses twenty five thousand. That gives us negative five operating income. That's not a profitable decision. Let's move to uh, seven. Top right. Use the given information from uh, one. Management at Round Belly decide to, uh, one, pay a $2 sales commission per lifesaver sold instead of paying salespersons flat salaries that currently total $10,000, and two, increase sales volume from 5,000 to 7,000 life, uh, lifesavers. Calculate the effect on net operating income. All right, so we've got uh, our given information from one, which is our sales volume uh, information at 5,000 uh, lifesavers. Now, at 7,000 lifesavers, uh, we've got a sales uh, of 70,000, which is the 7,000 times the 10. Our variable expenses have now increased by $2, so from six to eight. Um, and so now we got uh, 7,000 times eight, that gives us a 56,000. Now our uh, contribution margin is now 14,000, but our fixed expenses have uh, increased, or sorry, decreased to 10,000 because we've cut out our, our, our fixed selling administrative. Uh, so now what we've got is a, a net operating income of 4000 That's a profitable decision. Now, let's move from 7 to 8, and 8's over here at the top left. Um, so, assume the following information about Round Belly's Lifesavers at a sales volume of 6000 Calculate break-even sales dollars and units using contribution uh, method and the equation method. Uh, so we got HMS Round Belly Inc. Contribution income statement at 6000 Lifesavers. Sales, 6000 uh, uh, the total sales is $60,000. Our variable expenses are $36,000. Our contribution margin is $24,000. Our fixed expenses are $20,000. Our net operating income is $4,000. On a per unit basis, that gives us $10 uh, $10 per unit of sale, uh, sales price. Our uh, variable expenses are $6 per unit, and our contribution margin is $4 uh, per unit. Now, in a percentage, that's uh, so obviously 100% uh, of sales. Um, then our variable expenses as a percent of sales is 60%, uh, and our contribution margin as a percent of sales is 40%. Now, let's calculate um, break even sales using the contribution method here at the left. So, break even sales equals total fixed cost divided by contribution margin ratio. Break even sales equals 20,000, which is our fixed cost, divided by 40%, which is our uh, contribution margin ratio. And that gives us $50,000, $50,000 of sales that we need to break even. Under the contribution method uh, for units, we got break even units equals total fixed cost divided by unit contribution margin. Break even units is, uh, or sorry, so our total fixed cost is 20,000 divided by our our unit contribution, which we calculate up here, is per unit. Our contribution margin is four dollars. That gets us break-even units of, of five thousand. Under the equation method uh, for break-even sales, sales equals variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit. So uh, x equals 0.6 x plus twenty thousand plus zero. Uh, right, because x is our volume uh, in terms of sales. Right, and so x equals our variable cost times that volume plus our fixed cost. So if we solve for x, because x is our sales volume, uh, we, uh, we subtract the x and we get 0.4x uh, and we get 20,000. We take uh, 20,000 divided by 0.4, we get x equals 50,000. x is our uh, sales dollars uh, because, well, sorry, x is our sales dollars up here um, and our uh, variable cost is 0.6 times our uh, times our sales dollars. That's that's how we solve for this. And then x equals our uh, uh, sales dollars, which is fifty thousand. Under the equation for break-even units, sales equals variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit, where Q is equal to our volume. Uh, I had misspoke before. 
Q is equal to a variant here, where 10Q equals 6Q plus uh, uh, 20,000. Because 10 times our quantity is going to give us our sales, 6 times our quantity is going to give us our variable cost, and our fixed cost is 20,000. Solve for Q, we get 4Q equals 20,000, Q equals 5,000. Now, let's go to 9. 9 is down here in the uh, middle left. Use the given information from 8. Assume HMS Round Bell Inc. wants to know how many boats must be sold to earn a profit of 25000 um, Sorry, how many lifesavers must be sold to, to earn a profit of 25000 Use the contribution margin method and equation method. So, we want a profit of 25000 How many lifesavers do we need to sell? So, under our, our from the other side of our, our cheat sheet, we, we saw that the target sales equals target fixed cost plus target profit divided by unit contribution margin. So from the given information, we, we, we know that target sales equals 20000 which is our fixed cost, plus our target profit, 25000 divided by our unit contribution, which is 4. So our, to our target sales to earn uh, $25,000 profit is uh, 11250 um, Under the equation method, sales equals variable cost plus fixed cost plus profit. Uh, so 10 Q, right? Because 10 is our selling price, and Q is going to be our quantity. Um, and then six, t uh, six Q, because six is our variable cost per unit, and Q is our quantity. Our fixed cost is twenty thousand, and our desired profit is twenty five thousand. Solve for Q, you get four Q equals forty five. Uh, Q equals eleven thousand two hundred fifty. Go down to ten. Assume that uh, HMS Round Belly Inc.'s Lifesaver line has operating leverage at 6,500 uh, 6, Lifesavers based on the table below. Calculate the degree of operating leverage and prepare a contribution income statement showing what a 15% increase in sales would do to its profits. All right, so to calculate contribution, or sorry, to calculate degree of operating leverage, we take the equation from the other side of the cheat sheet. We get degree of operating leverage, uh, leverage equals contribution margin divided by net operating income. In this case, um, our contribution margin is 26,000 and our net operating income is 6,000. This was given information. Uh, so because it said calculate the degree of operating leverage based on the table, the information table below. Um, so our degree of operating leverage is 4.33. Now what does an increase of 15% um, what will an increase of sales volume of 15% do to our profits? We can look at that uh, on a percentage and on a dollar. On a percentage basis we take the desired increase in sales 15% times our degree of operating leverage 4.33. That gets a 65% increase in uh, profits. Now Let's look at um, that on the income statement, and we'll see that sales at the 6,500 is, is six. Uh, uh, it's going to be 6,500 times 10, um, and then our variable cost, uh, you know, 6,500 times 6. So we're going to get uh, a net operating income of 6,000. Now, if we increase sales by 15%. Uh, so it's going to be 65,000 times 15, uh, variable expense times 15, uh, our fixed expense is going to stay flat. So that's going to increase our profit from 6,000 to 9,900. Uh, 9, that's going to be an increase of 3,900, which is an increase of 65% to net operating income. Uh, this is just, we've got it on a percentage basis here and we've got it on a dollar basis here. All right, let's move to 11. 11 in the middle here. Uh, and in the green. Use the given information from 1 and 10. Calculate Round Valley's margin of safety. Margin of safety, remember margin of safety from the other side is uh, it's equal to actual or budgeted sales minus break-even sales. So break-even sales we know because that's given information from 1 is break-even is 5,000 and our actual sales from 10 were 6,500. So we uh, take right uh, what we're going to do. So this is our given information here on the table. Now what we're going to do is calculate. So we got margin of safety equals actual or budgeted sale minus break-even sales. Margin of safety equals 65,000, um, which is our actual sales, minus our break-even sales, which is uh, 50,000. Margin of safety equals 15,000. Now the margin of safety as a percent of uh, sales is 15,000 over uh, 65,000. That's 23 percent margin of safety. Now moving on to 12. Okay, if we look over here at 12, uh, assume that HMS Rambo Inc.'s Lifesaver and Life Vest product lines have the following information related to sale, sales volume, variable expenses, and fixed expenses. Calculate the combined break even for the Lifesaver and Life Vest product lines. Okay, so we're given some information. Lifesavers, we've got sales of 120,000, variable expenses of 72,000, contribution margin of 48,000. Uh, Life Vest, we got sales of 260,000, 
uh, variable expense is 130,000 and uh, contribution margin 130,000. So with that as a percentage, the lifesavers is the same as the other. We got 60% variable expenses, 40% contribution margin. Um, on the life vest, we got 50% uh, variable expenses, 50% contribution margin. Now, when we combine the dollars, we get 380,000 total sales, 202,000 total variable expenses. Combined contribution margin is the, uh, the difference between sales and variable expenses is 178,000. 178,000 uh, divided by the total sales, 380, that gives us a contribution percent, contrib contribution margin uh, percentage of 47%. Our fixed expenses are 110,000. And uh, let's go down here and calculate the combined break even sales. How do we do that? We use the same uh, formula, break even sales equals total fixed costs divided by contribution margin ratio, but we're going to use the combined contribution margin ratio because we want to combine uh, break even sales. So break even sales equals 110,000, which is our fixed cost, the combined fixed cost, divided by our combined contribution margin, which is 47%. That gets us total sales dollars of $234,042.55. Uh, so that's the total break even sales that we need for the combined too. But now, for a combined uh, uh, break-even analysis, we have to assume one thing, and we have to assume that the sales mix stays the same. So of the break-even sales of the $234,042.55, we have to assume that 32% of that is for lifesavers and 68% of that is for life vests. That's one thing we have to assume when we're doing a combined um, break-even sales or units is that the sales mix stays the same. Um, and that's lesson six.